I am the sword, deadly against every weapon. Neither spear nor poleaxe nor dagger is worthy against me. Long or short I can do, and I can hold and come to the narrow play. And I come to sword disarms and to grapplings. My art is breaks and binds. I know well how to cover and to always wound those I want to finish. Any who come against me will languish. I am royal and I maintain justice, advance the good and destroy evil. To those who learn my crossings, I will grant fame in unarmed combat. Fior de Liberi. To start off, we will go over the very basics of the sword fight. The main points to focus on are sword positioning, footwork, and how to counter. Sword positioning is a great deal of the technique. With this, you will be able to adapt to opponents and change your movements. Footwork is something that must not be forgotten. This will be key to avoiding attacks from the opponent as well as completing your own attacks. Countering is very important as when you do counter an opponent's attack, you can end the battle or simply keep yourself alive a little longer. There are a good many stances to take that have very different pros and cons. Full Iron Gate Guard is a great one. With legs bent, weight on the balls of your feet, back straightened, core tightened, and sword down and back, you will have the ability to move into different positions and be ready for anything. To follow through with this stance, you will pivot around your front foot, swing your hips and feet, then bring your sword up. Another basic yet important stance is the short guard. With the left leg out and right leg back as if doing a lunge, elbows in and sword resting at the center of your body while being aimed at your opponent's head, you will have a great position to thrust from. To follow through with this stance, while stepping forwards with your back foot, you will thrust your sword forwards into where you were aiming. Now we will look at the basic attack known in German as the Oberhau. With left foot forward and right back, keep your body square to the opponent. Hold the sword by the middle of your body and straight up with both hands like so. Move your sword out first. Then have your right foot follow and move your body out of the way of any possible forward counterattack. With this, complete the arc of your sword and hit the opponent. In one fluid motion, it'll look like this. Sword fighting puts a great deal of emphasis on counters, so we will now go to the Oberhaus counter, the Zornhau. While in the same stance, when your opponent's body and sword swings towards you, lean back and to your right. With your blade, strike their sword. Then once the blade tip is facing where you want to attack, thrust it forward while stepping your back foot forward. In one fluid motion, it will look like this. Sword fighting is not always about using the blade, rather it is about finding the best counter at the best time. This effective and intuitive counter for the Zornhau is the Pommel Strike. A very simple move, when the opponent is pushing their sword towards you in the Zornhau, you will push their blade up with your own. Use this upward movement to hit them in the head with your pommel. As you learn more, there are counters to these moves and counters to those counters. The dynamic of sword fighting and its need for adapting to the opponent's attack means that for each move, there is a counter. What matters most is learning them and implementing them when the time is right. Thus concludes the basic sword fighting guide. With these techniques, a foundation has been laid to advance your swordsmanship learning. It is now up to you to decide how you will use these methods. Will you put up the sword, or will you swing your blade into a whole new world?